So, who guessed right? I wore the pants. Y'all, I am such a go for comfort type of girl. So I honestly didn't know what I wanted to wear today, but the pants were speaking to me. So this is it. Comfortable, shirt fits well, scarf is popping. And look, I even have my little orange earrings to match. So I am headed to go study with um, the rest of my crew. We have our last, 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 last KSV and last two MSVs today. Making it to the finish line. Thank you, God. So, let me stop jumping my jaws and get to class. <sighs> All right, y'all. So, I'm back in my room for just a little bit of a break. Just finished my KSVs and MSVs, and I passed. Um, that KSV was hard, um, unpredictably hard. I got an 85. <laughs> And y'all know we have to get an 80 to pass. So I was like, whew. Then I did my two MSVs, adult CPR and child CPR. Passed those. And I honestly just don't know how to feel right now. Unfortunately, somebody got sent home today. Today, the last day of class. And she failed her third test. And she got sent home. Um... We we studied together. We had plenty of conversations. So I guess you could say she was a friend at training. Um, so it was definitely tough to see. Um, she failed her first two KSVs within the first week we were here. And then she buckled down and she got it together all the way through. Like she was doing amazing. She was doing really, really well. Um, so I'm not really sure what happened with this test. Um, but like I said, you know, it was hard. Um, our instructors yesterday definitely told us not to get complacent, don't get senioritis, make sure that we push forward and push hard to get through this last test. Um, and that just, it, it didn't happen for her, unfortunately. So it's very hard to see somebody have to roll up out of here, pack their suitcases and go on the last day. Like you made it through 10 tests and just this last one so it's very it's just very bittersweet like i'm very happy and proud of myself you know i would never take that away from myself um and i also know you know there's nothing that i could i can i can't do anything for anybody else like all i can do is you know study with you and we didn't even study together you know i told y'all recently you know haven't really been studying so much with the study group anymore just you know made it a smaller study group so I don't know if she was just distracted or if she had gotten lazy or just complacent or thought she had it in the bag. I don't know, but that medical stuff was not the easiest test at all. So yeah, that was just unfortunate. But on a better note, I am so happy to be done with all those KSVs and MSVs. So tomorrow, well, we actually have to head back to class. We have one last ILT and it's over TEM threat error management um, and then that that's it for the day and then tomorrow we're technically off until we have our IOE meet and greet so we'll meet all of our IOE instructors slash evaluators tomorrow evening at 5 p.m. Um, and then Saturday I do my IOE evaluation flight I have Sunday off and then Monday I do my EME and Tuesday I get my wings. So all what what today proves to me is that you literally have to hold on to every day, every second, don't let go. Like just because we're this close to the finish line, don't let go. Don't trip and fall. Don't do none of that. Just just keep pushing. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. So even if I got to lose a little sleep over these next three or four days, I'm going to have to do that because with the IOE, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to say I'm 100% comfortable with it, but I'm not really worried about it because I, as I was telling you all previously, 
you on your first leg you just shadow and then on your second leg you do everything and as long as nothing goes wrong on the flight as long as there's no emergencies it should be all good you know just make sure that i arm and disarm my door correctly i you know do service correctly and it sh hopefully it'll be a breeze um but the emes um, just simply, that was a little more nerve-wracking for me because we don't know exactly what we're doing. Um, so, yeah, we just have to practice everything. So, anyways, I'm about to get out of my little nifty uniform. I got so many compliments today. But these pants are they're a little stiff. I guess I got to break them in. So, I'm going to get out of this because we're going to be sitting down in the auditorium for the next couple of hours. And I want to be a little more comfortable. So... Anyways, talk to you guys later. Last day of class. We have been blessed with the Florida thunderstorms. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh. I have just been so ecstatic about finally finishing our last day of official class our last day of official class was today everything is done all we have left are our ioes and emes and we will get our wings and we will fly so happy so i know i told you all earlier today that unfortunately truly truly unfortunately we had one person leave class today on the last day um you know it's honestly sat with me throughout the whole day and not simply just because I know her but I, I knew her well enough to have conversations a few personal conversations get to know her a little bit but you know you can't help but to just kind of or at least me I can't help but to kind of put myself in that situation and say Oh, what, you know, what if that would have been me? What would I have told my family? What would I have told my friends? And, and not, it's just, it just sucks, honestly. You know, even people from the AM class that didn't know her were just still saying, you know, that it, that, that one just hurt so much more than the other four because you've made it this far. You know, like, literally, we have... Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <clears throat> Four days left to go. Four days left to go. And it's just unfortunate. So I'm trying to just, you know, kind of get that off my mind. It, it really had me shook for the rest of the day. It really did. I can't lie. Um, but it also told me that I need to stay on top of my game. On top of my game until those wings are pinned and I'm about six months into flying and off of probation no mistakes no errors need to be made I need to be perfect patty right <clears throat> so but anyway so let me just tell y'all how our last day of actual class went we did some ILTs and we did some um, scenarios on the simulator so uh, I told y'all, right, I got an 85 on my KSV. That's the lowest score that I think I've gotten all freaking out of all the 11 tests was an 85. That test was hard, y'all. Woo! But I made it. Um, and then my two MSVs, I passed those, um, adult CPR and child CPR. They were just really looking to make sure that you knew what you were doing, you know, we honestly didn't have to do it perfectly just wanted to know that you knew the steps that you needed to take to to save the life if that situation ever happened on one of your flights um and then we went into our um tem ilt tem sense for threat and error management that just teaches us how to deal with certain situations that may come up um, whether that be with a customer on the flight that is having um, a medical issue or complaining about whatever or if that's communication that you need to do with your flight deck 
communication that you may need to have with your other in-flight crew members or AOs or whatever. It's just a, uh, <clears throat> I don't even know, that, it's called a toolkit really, threat and error management toolkit, but it's just verbiage in the way and steps that you should take on how to handle anything that could turn into a bigger situation, how to keep it small, how to maintain it, and things like that. So. We went over that and then we, we did the ILT on it and then we got on the simulators and we did um, some scenarios on it. So we did it on the E-190 and we did it on the A320. The E-190 though was more prepped for our EMEs. They had crews get up there and work a flight and they would just throw scenarios out there of certain um, situations or evacuations or fires or decompressions and they had to you know think on their toes which was really good because that's basically what our EMEs will be like um, so that was good practice and then we got on the A320 and we had a pilot instructor on there with us today and he was throwing out different scenarios that could come from the flight deck and things like that and how to properly communicate with them um, so that was nice to learn because we really haven't learned we didn't learn any of that this whole time we've been here so that was really good to do to have that pilot on there um, because I mean we've learned certain things about the flight deck we know that um, flight deck or pilots main things are to navigate the aircraft that is their main focus communication is the third thing on their list so they were kind of throwing out different scenarios and you know the best way to communicate with them using our threat and error um, management toolkit. So that's what today was about. It was good. It, it kept me awake because sometimes I can't lie. I get a little sleepy. My eyelids get a little heavy. Because today was a long day. I didn't even tell y'all what time. We started at 1045 and we ended at 8 p.m. today. Can you believe it? Oh my God. The poor AM class. You know, for me, I'm in the PM class, so we were okay because we're used to staying up late and being in class later. We don't ever start that early though, but the AM class, when they said we wouldn't be getting out till around 8 or 9, oh my God, they cried like babies because they usually get out around 4 or 5, but it was, you know, whatever. So tomorrow, we're pretty much off for the day. We do have our IOE meet and greet. So we'll be meeting our personal um, IOE instructor. We'll be doing our evaluations for our IOE flights. Um, that's from five to, I guess, however long it lasts. Um, then Saturday, I actually have my IOE. I'll be going to Providence, Rhode Island. I'm gonna do great. I'm gonna look cute. I'm gonna put my little dress on. I'm gonna sashay through that plane. I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> um, and then Sunday, I'm off, which that off day will be used to do my EME. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I did mention this um, that originally I got my EME and I was very happy about who my partner was gonna be because we match up very well as as far as the way that we study and we catch on and we learn things quickly but they actually had to add someone to our EME crew uh, because she was paired up with the girl they got sent home today so they've changed our situation a little bit so instead of being a two-person crew now we're a three-person crew and we're on the A320 instead of the E190 aircraft um, which is good for me because <laughs> This won't make any sense to y'all unless, you know, you're current in flight or have some airline um, flight attendant experience. I'll be the number two on the aircraft. And not that the number two's job is easier, but technically, based on our flight attendant manual, a lot of the situations they have less responsibilities. <laughs> So I'm kind of, I'm not saying that, you know, it's just going to be easy for me because you never know. They may throw a twist in, but... I'm the number two, so I'm definitely not the number one, not the number three, I'm the number two. Um, but the other girl that they added, she's great, she's actually another girl from my study group, um, love her to death, we crack up in class together all the time. She's the girl that was um, singing with me um, when I posted, a, I don't know what video that was, but I posted a video of us in class and we were singing some song 
she was the other one at the other end of the table singing. So we'll be doing our EMEs together and also another girl, Tati, who has um, worked for the airline as for a few years now, before she was a airport operations member. So that means she did um, the desk and gate and things like that. Like when you go check in, she, she would have been the person that helped you. Um, so now she's doing in flight. So she's she's wonderful as well. So I'm still very, very happy about who my crew is. I know we'll be successful. We just have to buckle down and practice because we literally don't know what situations, emergencies that they could throw at us. So, um, so that's what I'll be doing Sunday is studying for that. And then Monday will actually be the EME. And then Tuesday I get my wings. And we also have a... JFK orientation, um, JFK base orientation, I should say. So, and that's it. I am still just truly in disbelief of how slow the days went by, but how quickly the weeks flew by. Like, it was just Monday. You know, it was just last week, Sunday, I was getting a pedicure. Today's Thursday, so... I'm just holding out like I, I got to stay strong. I got to stay focused until those wings are pinned. So, but that's, that's all I got tonight. Y'all it's late. Um, it's 1242. I decided to have a little fun. I've been having, I guess you could say this week has been fun filled. I've been doing a lot of fun things this week. Um, but I still been staying focused. So we were at the bar. Everybody was just happy, you know, to be, officially done with classes and most people pass their tests we actually have a few people doing a retake tomorrow i think about three or four people actually have to retake that last test tomorrow but they'll be good i, pr I pray to god they'll be good i can't i don't think i can handle it if anybody else went home this close to the end but that's about it y'all um i need to go to bed i'm tired i gotta go get a haircut Look at this. She's still cute though. <laughs> I gotta go get a haircut tomorrow. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So, good night, y'all. Thank you for subscribing. Um, it it still makes my day every time a subscriber comes, uh, an email comes across this watch and says, Gmail, YouTube, you've got a new subscriber. Thank you all so, 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 so much. I appreciate it. Um, keep on liking them because I need to make my way to the top of this list so I can get some more subscribers so y'all can see all that's going on in my life. Um, share it if you choose. If you know other people that are interested in a flight attendant career, if they really want to know what flight attendant training is truly like, share my video, please. Tell them to watch all of this whole series and and they'll know. Obviously, y'all know. I keep it real. Um, ding the bell. If that bell is there, because I still don't know where it is, but if it's there, ding it. And yeah, be good. Be safe. Keep cheering me on. Keep sending me the love. I so appreciate it. God, bye.